Since everybody and their mother has talked about this new Halloween film, I thought I might as well ride that man wagon and talk about it too. Um, this video will be talking about what I want out of the new Halloween 2018. Um, because this movie, I feel like, has a lot riding on its shoulders. I mean, of course it's going to make money, and of course people love are excited for it, but this is an interesting one because this is the second time that this franchise has ignored a lot of movies in the franchise canon, but the way, like, how 4, 5, and 6 were ignored in H2O and Resurrection, but in this case, it's ignoring every single movie after the first one, so that is interesting. And I'm not even as mad as I was with H2O, where H2O ignored 4, 5, and 6, because this one, it's like... It, I feel like since it's the second time, it didn't annoy me as much, but looking at it, it's like... I, besides the brother-sister thing, I feel like that's the biggest reasons why this is ignoring all of the films. And I'm really curious on what they're going to do with that because I'm not a I'm not like the gigantic fan of the brother-sister thing, but I don't I'm not opposed to it or hate it. Um, in a way it makes perfect sense, but in a way it's cool too seeing him just going out and getting this random victim, like, going out to get these girls, and I think that it worked really well in the first one, or incredibly well in the first one, and just, in this, in this one, I'm really curious, because it's gonna be, since they're not brother and sister, it's gonna be, she's just been living in fear for 40 years, um, and she's gonna fight back, doesn't that sound like another movie, like Halloween H2O, exactly like that, except for it's 40 years later instead of 20? What I, I also want to know if they will make it, like, H2O I do enjoy. I do enjoy H2O a lot, even though it has some bad things about it, of course. Like, every sequel in the franchise is very mixed for me. Um, there's a lot of things I love, a lot of things I don't like in all, in all of the sequels. The original is almost perfect, I think, but all the sequels, they're like, there's always something wrong with them, but there's always great things still about them, but they're never as great as the first one. And I don't think this one will be as great as the first one, but I feel like it will be great, though, hopefully. Um, but I'm wondering if they're going to do the same thing as H2O. It's just... Because literally, it's... Laurie Strode is older. She is... Has PTSD from Michael Myers attacking her. And then, now, she's got family who she has to protect. Which sounds just like H2O. So, I don't know how they're going to make it more fresh... But either way, I'll still watch it, of course, but I'm wondering if they're going to do anything that'll differentiate itself from H2O, because in that one, she had a son, and in this one, she's got a daughter, and then a granddaughter, but I don't know, like, I'm really wondering if how they're going to make it different. The thing I want from Michael Myers in this movie is that I want him to be like Halloween 2, honestly, and Halloween 4, like, that type of intimidating Michael Myers, where even though they're ignored now, I'm like, we could we could still have an intimidating Michael Myers like Halloween 2 and 4 or something like that. Um, because he was great, like, in Halloween 2, Dick Warlock was really fantastic, and, and it sucks that that's not in canon anymore, because there are some truly horrifying scenes, like creepy scenes of Michael walking around in Halloween 2, but they're ignored now. So it doesn't matter, but hopefully they'll do homages similar to how he was in Halloween 2, because I think he truly was just as scary in Halloween 2. The movie just suffered more from being, like, not as interesting or great, but Michael Myers, I thought, was still great in Halloween 2, and it sucks that stuff like that is just gone, but but I hope that Michael Myers will be more, will of course, be like the first one, but it will, will be like the second one as well, where, like, he... he has to have that intimidation where he just pops up out of nowhere. He's got to be there when you least expect him. And I think that worked incredibly well in the first one and in the second one too. And I think that if they do that, it'll keep... I feel like it'll make it a better movie. I feel like the stories in all the sequels are the ones that suffer. Like Michael Myers in a lot of them are is great. Um, but in in all the sequels, the story is the one that lacks... Um, except for H2O, which is the opposite. Where H2O, I didn't like Michael Myers, but the story was great um, for me. So, 
they need a better, they need a great story and they need a great Michael Myers. They need both. They can't just do one this time. They got to have both a great story and a great Michael Myers. And in this one, I hope the story will be like I'm wondering if how long Laurie Strode will be in this movie, how long Jamie Lee Curtis will be in this movie, because I don't know if she's going to die again. I don't want her to die again, but I knowing Jamie Lee Curtis, I don't know if she'd do another one, but maybe she, maybe she will. But God, she's done at least she. This will be her fifth one as Laurie Strode, not counting like her voice in Halloween Three, but this will be her fifth time playing the character Laurie Strode. So, I don't know if she'd want to do another one, but I don't want her to die either, um, because Halloween H2O, whether you like it or don't like it, I felt like the ending of the movie, it's like, it gave us a resolution that I felt like was perfect a perfect way to end it. Um, maybe they can do that this time and actually end it, like, 40 years later, she actually kills him. But... It's also a struggle, too, because Michael Myers is such a popular pop culture character. It's like you can't kill him, but I don't want them to kill Lori Strode again. I don't want them to do that again for a second time. Like, if they do, hopefully it'll be in better taste than Resurrection, which is awful, but um, but I, I really don't know. I don't want them to kill her, but I don't want Michael Myers to die either. It's like... I don't think, and I don't think Jamie Lee Curtis will go on a run of sequels, because she's already done four of them before this one, so it's like, what's she gonna do? But, I don't know, maybe if the daughter character and the, and the granddaughter character are really interesting in the movie, maybe that might ease the blow if they kill her off, but I just don't know how they're gonna do that without making it in, insulting, at least to me. I feel like it'll be a little insulting if they kill her off again. The, the next movie she's appeared in since Resurrection where she died in that one as well. So I feel like that's that would be kind of dumb if they killed her off again in her next movie. It's like, I, I don't know. I, it's really a weird, a, weird, a weird thing where it's like, I don't want her to die, but I don't want Michael Myers to die. And I don't know if I want them to do a string of new films because like every film in the franchise, they get worse and then they reboot it. Think about this, Halloween 1 and 2, people loved, and then Halloween 4, uh, people loved, and then 5 got really bad and 6 got really bad, and then they rebooted it with H2O, even though people don't like H2O, or some people don't. And then H2O had Resurrection, which was quote-unquote bad, again, like they keep bringing out these movies that people enjoy, and then they make sequels to them, Halloween 5 and 6, or Halloween Resurrection, that people just hate after they make a quote-unquote better one. Um, even though I think none of the sequels are as fantastic as the first one, of course not, but I think there's a lot of great moments in ones like 2 and 4 and H2O, but, but they always do that, so I don't want them, I don't know if I want them to make another, more films after this one, because if this one is really good, you're always going to fall under that trap that it's going to have sequels that suck. And Halloween, I notice, has always had that problem. So, that's... It's really a question mark on what... I don't know what their full plan is. Because that would be cool to see this as a franchise, again. But I don't know if I want it, though. Because, again, we're going to get... And I don't, dis, I don't dislike 5 or 6. I, I hate Resurrection. But I don't want them to make another one that might be like Resurrection. Where it might insultingly kill off... An, either Laurie Strode or another character like that appeared in this movie. Um, and apparently they were trying to do a sequel to this if it was successful and if people enjoyed it, but but I don't know. I guess my thoughts would be that I kind of want this to be a one-off and be done if they do it right. Um, but the way that they're interpreting this, the way that Danny McBride and David Gordon Green are interpreting this is like it, they're it seems like they're more competent in a way than most of the people who did the sequels, um, besides Halloween 2, um, or Halloween 4, like George P. Wilbur and, uh, and Rick Rosenthal both did, I think did fine with what they got for Halloween 2 and 4, but, um, but every other sequel is either, was either a mess 
or it was made in the studio had so much interference where they fucked it up and like made it worse like Halloween 6 or Halloween H2O um, or Halloween Resurrection just existing on the fact that they made H2O and wanted it in there but then of course they had to have a sequel because it made money so I feel like David Gordon Green and Danny McBride are more smarter than a lot of these people involved with these sequels so I feel like they might with and they said they're such a big fans of all of the movies so like all the films is what they said in a couple interviews so I'm thinking that means that they're smart enough to understand that we're trying to do what the fans want quote unquote like not just made for money not just made in a way where they they literally throw it out they don't give enough care to it and I'm not saying any of the sequels don't have things I love I do love a lot of things about the sequels but I noticed that they do have a lot of things that I don't like because like I said either studios not caring the studios not caring about what they put out like like with Halloween 6 where it's just like they made it so ADD like theatrically after they did the producer's cut and like showed it to a couple audiences of 14 year old kids and made and then they made it ADD as shit and really stupid in the theatrical version of Halloween 6 so it's like these people don't really care but I feel like Danny McBride and David Gordon Green are better candidates because they're they're fans making a movie for fans they're not I mean of course it's for money money is of course something that is made with every movie but I think that they are going into it with the idea that they are such big fans that they want to at least try to give us something that isn't as much of a studio interference as these other movies. And they're not just there for money. for money, Even though, of course, they are like everybody. But still, you know what I mean. So, that's really what I want. I really want a film that gives us something that us Halloween fans really want and not something that the studio can interfere with. I don't know about if they should kill off Laurie Strode or keep her because I don't want to kill her off again but I also don't want Michael Myers killed off again completely but it would be cool to see him die and have it full circle complete but but I don't know it's it's just I can't believe we got a month until it comes out I'm excited but like um, it just it really annoys me that like we got all these sequels, but I hope that this time will hopefully make it better. There's oh, it's never too late. Just make a better movie, make a more make a more fun Halloween movie, a better sequel than the other ones. And if this is ignoring all of them, hopefully this means that they're they're really trying to make it better. Uh, hopefully it's not like a Texas Chainsaw 3D where that ignores all the sequels except for the first one, and then it's worse than all the sequels. So. I'm just really curious on what what we will do, what we will see with the new Halloween. Um, we've got so much; they've got so much riding on their shoulders. Um, but either way, I am super excited. Even if it isn't great, I'll still see it. Of course, I'll see it twice. I don't care. Um, I don't think it will be as bad as Resurrection, even if it was, and I doubt it will be. I don't think they will be, or I don't think they are the type of people to do that. At least it seems like in the interviews. So. Yeah, I'm excited for this. What are your guys' thoughts? What do you want to see in the new Halloween movie? Um, I'm so excited, and I can't wait. We're only a month away, guys. Only a month away, so thanks for watching.